All right, before we get started, toast. Cheers. Hello. <laughs> I guess that works. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's it's itty bitty teeny tiny. Da, da, da. Hey, all right, you got this one, my friend. Uh, we got the Fair enough. Oh my goodness, I am tired. <laughs> I don't. I'll make it. I'll make it. Uh, yeah, we keep. Oh, okay. keep. All right. You're up. Go ahead. Okay. Hold, <laughs> hold up that opt. I know what the deck is. How about Grove of the Burn Willows? I'm going to let you gain one. Put you up to 21. Yeah. We're going to do some Faithless Looting. Okay. All right, so draw two. And then discard. How about... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa there, buddy. How about we discard double Shambling Shell? And then we'll pass the turn. Uh, Shambling Shell is the 3 1. You do your turn opt. There it is. Alright. See, my turn is nice and. Oh, yeah, make sure we're on camera. My turn is nice and easy. Actually, <laughs> before we get too far gone, let's do it this way. Even though the current iteration of the deck doesn't run any Aftermath cards, mm -hmm. I turn it this way sort of to represent, one, to represent that I do, and two, if I ever add them back in, I'll be able to see the name. Mm. Uh, like cut to ribbons. Okay. I'm going to kind of bobble myself. Okay. Oh, good. And then you'll draw? Yep. All right, we're gonna dredge three. Get this party started. Hey, triple land. <laughs> That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Well, uh, you know, I think we're going to once Give me again. Life. Yeah, once again, faithless looting. Mm -hmm. we're going to replace this one, and then dredge three. Ooh, Golgari Thug, Golgari Thug Street Wraith. And then we'll replace that one with Golgari Thug Dredge 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's Spider Spawning, Shelter Thicket, Cathartic Reunion, Vengeful Pharaoh. Because, you know, Vengeful Pharaoh matters a lot in this match. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Lies. Straight from the pits of Phyrexia. Alright. And then we have to put two cards back, so... Gee, I wonder what I'm going to put back. Probably these two again. And then, we'll play Crypt of Agadine Taps. Mm -hmm. And then I guess I'll pass you the turn. Go for it, my friend. Whatever that Let's nice see. piano music is, I dig it. It's the... It's music from Final Fantasy IV too. Oh god. If this gets hit with copyright, oh dear. Alright. By the way, while you're doing that, the price check right now is one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, it happens. Yeah. Five. Go ahead. Alright. Gogari Thug, don't fail me now. Alright, it's four. And then. One, two, three, Heck, it. now it's four. Net loss. When Golgari Grape Troll had, was unbanned, when it was legal in the format, you never had a choice. You really always just dredged Golgari Grape Troll unless you really needed the life from the loan, because since it wasn't a black creature, there wasn't an opportunity cost there. All right, well then, I will. Cathartic Reunion, 
As an additional cost, discard two cards, Necroplasm, Shambling Shell. And you know where this is going, my friend. Uh, wait a minute. Necroplasm, Shambling Shell? What are you doing, Jay? What are you doing? <laughs> Golgari Thug, Shambling Shell. Different mono black dredge creature. <laughs> Wrong one, Jay. Okay, so there we go. There we go. Alright, so since I still don't have a Stinkweed Imp, I guess Glugari Thug it is. We're gonna draw th three times. First is a Dredge 4. One, two, three, four. Do I have any more Crypts of Agadim in here? No, but it doesn't matter because this does not take away from the number of black creatures in the yard. So, next one is one, two, three. Ghost Quarter, the main board Ghost Quarter showing up. Yes, that's intentional. One, two, three. Okay, cool. Alright, let me get these all sorted out again, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Ghost Quarter. And the reason is because, while it's not so much a thing against your deck, main board, I have a way to uh, crucible lock opponent's decks. Sort of like with a Crucible Wasteland or Crucible Strip Mine and Legacy and Vintage, respectively. Or just Loam. <laughs> hey, man. If it's broke, don't fix it. Let's see. Anything I want to do after that? I'm, I haven't seen any creatures out of your deck, but do I have a Conflagrate already in the yard? I don't see one, so I'm actually going to... By the way, uh, yeah, there you go, you're at 23. And now you're about to be at 24. <laughs> yeah, if I already had a conflagrate, we're gonna conflagrate targeting you, x equals zero. Mm -hmm. Just to be efficient with our mana. And then I will pass the turn. While you're doing that, I'm gonna do a nice little price check for the graveyard here. Anytime I say price check, that means number of black creatures in my graveyard, which is the number of creatures in my graveyard. Um, so this is one, two, three, four. Triple black mode. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay. So we're looking at eight mana next turn. Maybe. Still no stink we have. So game one is supposed to be favored for him because I don't really interact with combo decks in the main board. But it looks like we're both kind of just not finding Good. exactly what we need. Speaking of, we're going to go Golgari Thug, Dredge 4. So we're at 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. We're at 9. We're at 9 black creatures in the grave. And we're getting really close. Nine is almost there. We're going to start off with a... I would like to cast a life from the loan. Mm -hmm. And you know exactly what we're doing here. Crypt of Agadim. Yes, yes, <laughs> thank you. Uh, Crypt of Agadim, and we're going to say... Uh, overgrown Tomb and Sheltered Thicket. There we go. Well, there's Life in the Loam down there. Alright, cool. Cool. Obviously we play the Crypt of Agadim here. And then... Pass the turn. Alright, man. You've played this deck enough times to know that you're on a two-turn clock. So all I need to do is find Army of the Damned and cast it and then... Jump over the seat. Okay. I have a sneaking suspicion, though, you're getting really close to the combo. Uh -oh. Trust me. Oh, okay. Okay. Anything CMC zero, which is a lot in that deck. Oh, zero. Yeah, now, I'm gonna... Well, actually, I, I want to see if you can figure it out. We'll see. I think you got it.
I've actually considered Spire of Industry for the deck, but the scenario you're in right now is the reason I don't have Spire of Industry. Although it's probably still fine making colorless mana. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's what I was wondering if you fig <laughs> if you figure out. Of course you did. Well, what this means is probably going to end up having to cast Army of the Dam twice. <laughs> and hope you don't have Engineering Explosive twice. Ha uh ha. -huh. the play. So I can't kill him this next turn, but... Opt. Okay. Oh, main, main phase opt. Sorcery is opt. Okay. Yikes. Go ahead. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm gonna dredge three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Well, I... Damn. I guess it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, well in that case, price check by the way is 10. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that is loud. That's uh, probably going to get us hit. One sec. Uh, so 10 creatures in the yard. Um, let's see. Ten mana. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hear you slurping really loudly over there, bud. <laughs> I would spend two of it for a shelter thicket. We're actually going to dredge. Mm -hmm. I'm going to replace the draw from shelter thicket with a dredge of five. And let's see if we can finally hit something. Three, four, still no army of the damned. Well, Hi, we're just talking about damning things, that's all. I mean... <laughs> no. I'm just being dumb. Alright. So we have 8 mana. Now we have 6 mana. Now we have 16 mana. And... I can... Flashback both spider spawnings. And then I have to find army or else I'm in trouble. Kaiba, what's going on? Yeah, I think that's probably exactly what we're going to end up doing. Yep, okay, we're gonna flash back both spider spawnings, leave two mana left, and the price check in the end, I didn't add any creatures there, so should have been, let me go over again just to make sure. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine, okay. Uh, so 18. So you're not quite lethal, but we're we're getting real close <laughs> to lethal here. There's our spider spawning. So if you know how people get mad at some, at players for putting their creatures behind their lands? Well my creatures are behind my graveyard. <laughs> so this is magic as Richard Garfield intended, clearly. Um, I'm going to take two, because my life total does not matter in this match. Life from the lung, get back, shelter thicket, forest, and ghost quarter. And that's in the yard. And then I will... Let's see, how many cards is this? Eight. Hoorah! I'm gonna drop a Stinkway Dump. Seven. Pass turn. I'm dead. <laughs> Just do it. You, you do actually, unless I could do something crazy, you do actually have a turn. Well, actually, no, you don't have a turn. You're, you're gonna have to pop the... Maybe. Maybe worse. Yep, okay. He would have to pop it if he weren't doing this. Okay, so let's show off the combo. He has drawn his whole deck. You can just draw the whole deck. I, we know how this works. No, I lost one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, eleven, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. The reason there's that, remember, Simeon Spirit Guide's a three drop. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't matter because you're Angel's Grace. You're not going to lose this turn. Unless you just feel like keeping track 15. of it. 15 then. 20. 21, 26, okay, 31. I do have I told. Oh, whatever. Well, I was looking <laughs> for some of those. I wasn't trying to okay. draw a whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, since you have Angel's Grace, it doesn't matter. I, I'm just—I was just going to, for the sake of the memes, just keep doing this the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> bubble, bubble. Opal. Yep. Red. Find another opal or Simeon's Bear Guide. Oh. Uh, for zero. Yep. Yep. Good. Yep, okay, and then he just throws his hand yeah. at me, and that's game. Um, the reason it was lethal is because this is 18, you are at 25, so this is 18, and then I conflagrate the number of cards in my hand, which is 7 plus the dredge. Yeah. So, if you, if you didn't win that turn or pop the Ingenuity Explosives, which you would have done one of the, or the, of the two, then you would have been dead. The only way I get by is if you don't see conflict right happen. I uh, pulled Angel's Brace off the opt. That'll work. Was well, The Last of Us, it was a multi-plat, right? It wasn't an exclusive? Oh yeah, and of course I'll be on the play. Mm -hmm. yeah. If that weren't obvious enough. Well, oh, Ooh. okay. I will keep. Likewise, this will be interesting. And when fate has turned. Uh, my next day off will probably be Monday. Starts with zero. Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna fetch while you're up to that. Got a 19, get an overgrown tune tapped. And then I'm gonna vision. Okay. Yeah, I'm just doing the save time strats. Yeah. That's a realistic survival game. Realistic survival game. Oh, but of course it was the next card. Of course it was. <laughs> That'll do it. So it's not like just I've seen bits and pieces of The Last of Us, but it's one of those. You know how it, every now and then you'll find a sh okay, you'll find a show you will intentionally stay away from because you don't want it spoiled, even though you don't know when you're going to get a chance to watch it. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of like that with The Last of Us. I don't even own a console for it. I mean, maybe on PC. I'm not sure. Um, and I don't have a an epic desire to go out. Is that turn? Mm -hmm. He has more zero drops, so that is a legitimate question in this deck. Ooh. Okay, that changes things. I like this. We're gonna go Copper Line Gorge, Faithless Looting, draw two, of course, mm -hmm. discard two, discard double Stinkoid Imp. Because we know how, where this is going. Alright. Alright. Let's get this party started. And then I'll. Pass the turn. Mm -hmm. I'll randomly flex for no reason and then pass the turn. about how I thought I might have over-sideboarded. 
And then I find zero sideboard cards in my opening hand. Looks. Okay, metal craft is on. Visions. Okay. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to sound rude earlier. I don't know if he heard me, but I hope he did. I told him about the volume, and I thought I could just close the door, but, you know, I didn't know. It makes sense with the pets. Hey Isabel. Hey Isabel. End of turn, I'd like to cycle a street break. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna dredge five. And before that one goes in. One, two, three, four, five. Hey! Looking good, four creatures in a raven's crime. Looking good. Okay. And that. Um, yeah, move on to my turn. Dredge five. I'm gonna do this stink weed in because it's slightly easier to get to. Just slightly. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, ancient grudge. We're just gonna go off this turn. Alright. We're gonna start off by. Let's see. How's about Raven's Crime retraced? I have to discard a land to retrace it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make you discard a card. Your choice. Comfort Grave. Yep, that's fair. Shock. Blip, blip. And then I will pass the turn. <clears throat> oh, okay. That's real. That's uh, really good, actually, right now. <coughs> oh, dear. into Is he mad at me? No, why? <laughs> Good. Can oh, you yeah. the volume? No. I, I, I thought I could just close the door. I didn't realize he would open because of the dogs, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. He's not mad at all. Lord, no, okay? Fisher's ball. Oh, okay. Fisher's ball is fine. And this will leave you with uh, three cards in hand, and, but you're playing the models, so two cards in hand. I'm playing the models. Oh, okay. We have more. Um, and I'm gonna bobble myself. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, end of turn. Yeah, I might end of turn something. I don't like my odds, so I'm going to actually play it safe. Now you may draw a star. Draw a four. Okay. Uh, where'd you go? So, oh yeah, I didn't put another stinkweed in back, so we're going to do this one. Okay. Do your thing, stinkweed. 
One, two, three. The moment when you realize it would have worked out. It would have worked out. Whether I took a natural draw or dredged something else. Uh, well. Whatever. It worked. Anyway. Ancient Grudge, your Mox Opal? What does that do? Uh, it destroys it to artifact. Float mm. white. Okay. I would like to go to combat. Okay. Alright. Uh, main phase two. I will discard a card, discard a land to flashback a Raven's Crime. Make you discard a card. That is a dark steel. Okay, I mean our dark slick, dark steel, dark steel, dark slick, dark slick. There we go. We're good like this. Um, pass turn. Stop on whenever this one comes off suspension. Should be upkeep. Beginning of upkeep. Okay, so when it comes in, it's on your upkeep. Um, ancient graduate. Alright, now you may proceed to draw. Go ahead. I'd like to dredge three with Life from the Loan. Mm -hmm. Let's see what I get. One, two, three. Just all of the Life from the Loan. Now, now I can't stop drawing it. Because that's how life works. Um, we're going to make this a little easier on ourselves and do it this way. There we go. Cast Life from the Loam and get back. Do I have any crypts? No. So I, I will get Sheltered Thicket, Forest, and um, Verdant. Oh, yeah, Verdant, yeah. So I'm gonna get Verdant as the other one. Um, play the Verdant Catacombs. By the way, this is in the yard. As I condense this. <laughs> okay. Raven's Crime. You have one card in hand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Raven's Crime. The forest away and then Raven's Crime targeting myself to get Stinkweed up into the yard and then I will pass the turn Yep. Another on zero. Good mm -hmm. god. Well, okay then. Good. Dig, baby, dig. Wait a minute, What's, what else is in my hand? Nope, we're not getting you. We're getting life from the loan. I think. Nope, we're getting stinkweed. I want to dig a little deeper. Two, three, four, five. Well, that did me a lot of good. Lots of good. One, two, three. Shambling shell. It's a three one. Wait a minute, I didn't play all my- I did! Oh no, I used Averted Catacombs as if it were an overgrown tomb. Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay. Well, the board state is dead. 
Um, if this were a tournament match, this is where I'd concede. We're just playing literal kitchen table magic, though. So... Fetch? Better late than never? I swear. I swear. I'm a professional. <laughs> it's late. It is. Alright. So anyway... And then I will pass the turn. And your turn. Okay. Yep. Bobble seems good. Mm -hmm. Bobble also. Yep. Good. All right. Shambling shell. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. That's a thing, I guess. This one's in the hand, this one's on the field. Swing? Sure. Shambling shell? Mm -hmm. Pass turn. Good. Pop relic. Okay. Whee! Your you your grave is gone too. Yeah. Uh, draw for relic. Yep. Uh, mushroom bottle. I'm not as sad about that as I would have been Bobble because muscle. his academy ruins is there. Yeah. Bobble myself. Yep. Uh, go ahead. Bobble draw. Yep. Draw. Yeah. Swing six? Yep. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Pass turn. You know, now that I don't have to worry about it, let's play creatures up front. Or creatures in back, but at least not creatures on the same line. <laughs> There's a tweet that became a little bit of a meme where Brian Kibler was saying something to the effect of, I used to like Jeff, Jeff Hooglin, and then I found he played his lands in front. He's a monster. <laughs> in all caps. <laughs> it's whatever. I don't, I don't care. Good. Seven? A little too far. Um, yeah. Pass turn. Vision. Okay. Yeah. Right. Game three. Woo! Game three hype! Last one. Well, for this match. I wonder. Maybe we... Yeah, we can do one more after this, if, if you're okay with it. I'm going to pretend I have the energy to keep it up. I've been getting a lot of sleep lately, and I'm not helping that now. <laughs> oh, well. Oh. Whale. What do you say, mate? Sure, I'll keep it. Okay, let's do this. wants to keep it. Ladies and gents, that's not good. As Evangeline would say, that can't be good. She's so precious. Maybe a little biased. Just a lot. Alright. Well, how about we go, Overgrown Tomb, Shock, mm -hmm. Ravens Crime You, make you discard a card. Your choice. 
All right, pass turn. Mm-hmm. Relic. Yep. Relic you. There it goes, bro. Go ahead. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. <laughs> I had to. Uh, pass turn. Oh, by the way, you gained one. Oh. Yeah, because I had to use the red portion of it. It's green for flashback. Drill you. Oh my god. <laughs> well, hey man, that's a that's a hand. Uh, it's okay, we've made it through worse. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. Faithless living. Mm -hmm. You know the drill. Draw two. Yep. Discard two. give you a little more information, I guess. Crypt. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. Ooh, ensnaring bridge. That's a thing. Really cute. Tapeless. Yep. Go ahead. I mean, you saw that coming, but I gotta make you do it at least. Alright. One, two, three. How many cards do you have in hand? One. Okay. In that case, it might have been better to get the dog instead. Shelt. Pass turn. Are you playing it? Yeah, I'm casting it. Cast that shambling shell. And so three one. Three one. I can sack to make a, a plus one plus one counter go on a creature I like. Choice. Do I want to hit the relic or the ensnaring bridge? Right now I have priority, so he can't respond. Which one do I choose? So obviously he can pop the relic in response. That's not the end of the world. I can live with a relic being popped. And what about ensnaring bridge? I think with this few cards in hand, I can beat an ensnaring bridge. It, it, I can beat him if I take the ensnaring bridge, but leave the relic. Leave the gun, take the cannoli. Um, I think I can do that. Or, you know, I could just wait for him to pull the trigger and do something in response, which is what I'll do. So I like to move to my main phase. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Yeah. Okay. Pop the relic, break it in response. Yep. And I get one from you after doing that. Yep. Oh. Life from the Lung? Mm hmm. Does nothing. Welcome to Legacy. Past turn. I dare you. I dare you, motherfucker. Find another one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Dredge three. One, two, three. Gonna gain one. Mm -hmm. Faith the saluting. Here comes draw number one. I'm gonna dredge four off of Gugari Thug. One, two, three, four. I'm going to dredge three more off of Life from the Lone. One, two, three. I, don't you just love drawing seven cards? I think drawing seven cards is the most pleasant experience in magic. That's why I play Dredge. Okay. You can't still do... Well, you have how many cards in hand? Two? Yeah, you still can't do anything. So... We won't bob on your turn. Okay, because why not? Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll pass the turn. Uh, bobble draw. Mm -hmm. Natural draw. Yeah, that's fine. Cash kitchen table magic. We can. I just played a verdant catacomb for mana without a blood moon or something out. But you, you're good to go back on that one. Yikes. I don't like that much mana. Did I put two cards back in the graveyard from Faithless Looting? I don't think no, I did. I don't think so. There we go. I'm tired, can you tell? Because when you when you're really tired, you wanna play tricky decks like Dredge. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Probably like this. Let you gain a life. Life from the lung. Getting back Crypt of Agadim, Crypt of Agadim, Grove of the Burn Blows. Okay. How many cards do you have in hand? Three. 
Combat? Did you just put that life form on back in your hand? Did I? Dadgum it! <laughs> I might have gotten a little confused. <laughs> okay, so, hit you for three. Um... Discard a Crypt of Agadine to retrace Raven's Crime, make you discard a card. Ad nauseum. How many cards in hand now? Two? Two. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that again. Alright. And then I will pass the turn. Down two ancient grudges. The raw nauseum. Okay, now this time we do have to keep track of it. Zero. One. one. Zero. One. 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 Five. Okay, put you at thirteen. Zero. One. one. Alright, and that's where we're stopping? I'm not sure. I'm not going to okay. see what I'm right now. Yeah, I'll stop there. How do I win from here? I don't know that there's an answer. Yeah, uh, this I'm deck is drawing sick. this, right? You are, well, they, I think they're just added to your hand. I don't think they're technically drawn. Uh, yeah, added to my hand. Yeah. Um, Although, are there any effects that proc drawing anyway? No. Okay, it's all good. Um, <laughs> oh god, you can't replace them with dredges. That would be silly. <laughs> So I have a little card in hand now. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I know what one of your discards is going to be. It starts with C and ends with Onflick, right? Double Relic. Although in my defense, double Ancient Grudge. Okay. And what were the others? Yeah, um... That's reassuring. Uh, well, I know he has an Angel's Grace at nausea yeah. in hand, and there's there's no way I'm going to get you off of that, I think. So let's see. No, there's not. So, what's the most I can dredge this turn? I think it's three. No, it's four. It's four. Okay. If I do five. that, I wish. Uh, okay. How long has that garlic thing been in there, Dick? Yeah. I don't know, probably about nine two, months. Three, four, nine months. I'm about to eat the shit anyway. I'm good. I just started to get birthday. Will you leave me alone? Wait, I'm not even lived here for nine months. There's no way it's been there that long. Okay, so closer to three. But that's a different story. Where's the time code? There it is. Ten seconds. 
team one listener all slowly dying from microwave radiation. You be I. Yeah. I'll make it. Yay, cancer. Woo! <laughs> I don't think I can... If I had targeted discard, maybe. Raven's Crime is great. Raven's Crime is not great when you suddenly go up, what, eight cards? Or more, all of a sudden. It's more than eight. Didn't you go from two cards? You Wait, you drew to three, and then you went... Yeah, okay. Um, you did draw eight, then. Off that. Okay, so here's the hand. Uh, I might as well say, because it doesn't matter at this point. Right, I mean, you should know what's in my hand. I do. Well, <laughs> I know there's Angel's Grace ad nauseum, and I'm trying to think of a way to deal with that. If I happen to have a an ancient grudge by some miracle, I still couldn't do anything about it because I could make I could pop your Lotus Bloom, but then both Angel's Grace and ad nauseum are instant, so in response, float the mana and you'd be fine. And even if that weren't the case, you'd still have six mana up for both of them together. So there's not really anything I can see myself being able to do. The Dredger's here, not so much. Army of the Damned, even if I could cast it, they don't have haste and they come in tapped. The closest I could think of is Life from the Loam, get back three lands. Wait a minute, how many black creatures do I have in the grave? I think it's like two. Yeah, not enough to make a difference. It's two. So I actually don't even net mana off of Crypt. If I could make a buttload of black mana, then I could theoretically go, you know, like, make a bunch of black mana, life from the loam, life from the loam, get a bunch of lands, and then retrace Raven's Crime 50 times over, six times, and that could do it. But since I don't, I can't. So, you got me. You got me. All right. Yeah, not a, not a thing I can do about that, unfortunately. Oh, well. And then he goes through the motions again, hits me for one million, and then that's it. All right, good games, man. So um, it's pretty obvious what I sideboarded. That's a dead giveaway. The Raven's Crime, four of. It's my combo hate package, and usually it's pretty decent. Not so much against a raw Nazi. Not so much. And then the rest are in here. So let's see. Ancient Grudge, <laughs> Necropism, uh, I was, I didn't want to have too few creatures in here, so I left Necropism in. And Ghost Quarter actually would have been kind of decent if you had an Academy Loop going, but you didn't, so it didn't matter. Alright, there's one more Raven's Cry. Hey, there you go, bro. Okay. So yeah, the, I knew about the relics and the echoing truth. The ensnaring bridge was actually really good tech to keep you from the, the fair kill. Um, you're a combo deck, so oddly enough, you don't want to get to too few cards in hand. On the other hand, you're the kind of combo deck that can go off with exactly two cards in hand. Angel's Grace at Nauseam. That's what I had in hand those two, when you were asking me about two cards. Yep, go figure. <laughs> I was just missing the one land. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, if I'd drawn a, um... If I'd drawn a mo another mox in that one turn, I would have gone off. I wonder if the game had ended up being different if instead of... I, if I had dredged four instead of three on that first turn that I dredged after the Faithless thing. I wonder if it might have been different. Maybe not, though. Uh, um, I had tap land, so I couldn't double relic you on, on turn yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. 